Good morning. Wow, that was a creepy lighting. I did not anticipate that lighting. It smells... I think this, the smell generally is gone, but there's like reminiscent of it. I think it's called a reminiscence of it. Let's start this morning like this. Although like I feel like this is more how I feel like starting the morning should be and I feel more energized. So hope you can hear me. My hair is bad. I think I'm gonna do ponytail. Ponytail? Ponytail. Anyways, good morning. My cramps are still a little bit in here. I think it's milk. Cheese, milk. I don't know. It, it's Or the combination of that with wheat. I, I don't know how to describe it, but I, it's very familiar. But I haven't had it in a while. I also had a drink Saturday. I had some tequila with pineapple. I don't... I feel like they didn't put enough pineapple in that thing. Today... We have, what do we have to do? We have a phone call, hopefully. Hopefully that will resolve everything. We have application, job application type stuff, freelance like stuff, I don't even know. Try to find something, try to put stuff out there, try to see what I can do how I can narrow down my niche. Even in freelancing, I feel like that applies very well, that word. I still have to clean up the apartment. I still have to put the clothes away. Maybe I'll let it for today and try to aerate it. So, saeresesc apartamento. Saeresesc. Saeresesc camera. Okay, it's really hard switching from English to Romanian. The Romanian gets an accent really bad. <laughs> really badly. I feel like I don't know how to do this. I pro I know how to do it in DaVinci Resolve, but I don't feel like I want to edit you in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to try to put over here my to-do list, <laughs> my goals for today, and homage to Lily's Things vlogs. Should we include breakfast? Nah. Uh, because also I'm trying to do the 16-8, and I, I, it's not technically breakfast by the time I eat it. I have... Well, wake up. I did. Uh, I don't know where I'm pointing because I don't know how I'm going to do this. Start my brain somehow, apparently. So, like, alright, let's pull back. So, actually, this is probably, like, a better to do than that. That's, like, so busy, but fine. Uh, I'll do this. Although it feels like this is where it should be. Like, on both sides. <laughs> so, I have phone call. I have job applications. I have freelance stuff to do. I have, I don't have freelance jobs, but I have finding jobs, freelance jobs. I have um, organizing my apartment, cleaning or putting it away, stuff like that. I have to do soup. I want to do a soup. It's the chicken soup. My mom brought me feta yesterday. You might think that's usually not a thing, but it's my thing. The workout calendar, vision board maybe. My nails, definitely, and then edit the vlogs and maybe schedule out a parody. That is something that brought a lot of pleasure to and fulfillment to my YouTube ness, YouTube stuff. Doing the project, I'm just like such a project management addict. I'm not an addict, but I love project management. I love it so much. I was in England for film school. It didn't work out. I came, I had to come back, but long story. We had the, the seminar the, or whatever with this guy and he had us learn scheduling and budgeting. I forget the, the movie magic. I forget the software, but anyways, I loved it. Everyone was complaining. Like, oh, I'm a director. Oh, I'm a cinematographer. Oh, I'm a cinematographer. I don't do this stuff. This is peon stuff. <laughs> just kidding but that's kind of how they sounded also I loved it I wanted I'm a director I feel like my mind is the director but I think that's also why I like project management because like, yeah I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but <laughs> I almost said get me wrong correct me if I'm wrong but as a director you visualize the process you not like Oh, you do this here, you do that there. That's, I guess, like maybe producer, you visualize that type, that part of the process. But as the director, you, 
envision the timeline of the movie or let's let's keep it simple with movies you envision the scenes you envision what you want what scene what cuts what like you know so it's not that big of a leap so yeah i love it all i love it all and i feel like they don't often say like it's so hard to find someone who has a left and right brain situation going well here i am <laughs> just just saying anyway so we have a very full calendar today so let's get going i also have like talking about <laughs> the haircut thing it does not feel right right now as a result of this weekend that's how i feel so cutting my hair does not feel right right now i want to cut my hair when i'm when everything's good and it's positive plus it's rainy right now it's not a great day today so yeah, I wasn't planning on cutting my hair today. I'm just saying that's on the to-do list of kind of thinking about it, organizing that side of things. <sighs> I feel like I need to shake off <laughs> oh, the bad feels. All right, that didn't quite work, but we'll pretend it did. I will talk to you later. Let's go eat. This is my breakfast today, slash lunch. This is my brunch. I don't know what to tell you. I grew um, upside down. down. Everybody has watching based on their own individual condition. Thais Gibson, personal development school. This is where I got my certification for the, I hate calling it relationship coaching because people, I feel like are, are adverse to that, but that's what it is. I am putting on my weird fingered um, guarding gloves so I can take one of these guys and put them in one of these. Oh, look at the little guys. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> I was holding back on that. I had like a, a much lower register than I wanted. Also, because my voice seems to be very low today. Look at the little. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. There you go. That's the one. <laughs> I was going to do it outside, but it's so cold and rainy. I have a vacuum. I'll just do it here. I don't know. How, how are these structured? Oh, okay. There you go. Bold. Boldy. Seems kind of like empty. Maybe, maybe the bugs got to it. Let's see how that goes. So curious, I kind of you can't see me. I kind of ripped up some of the root. Maybe I'll do another one just in case. All right, so we'll see if that does anything. my back hurts I am old so last uh, Thursday I think we went to work out and we took the stairs and we're both like for me it was like my lower back like oh boy and my hips and for him it was his knees and, um, and we were just like laughing so hard because like we were just coming from workout and we're just 
wondering what the heck happened to us. When did our youth expire? <laughs> but anyways, all right. So this plant seems to be doing kind of well. Nothing has died, died. So I mean, water the avocado. I feel like it hasn't seen uh, watering days for a while. Put them. I put some good old purified all these water. Uh, I think the rest are pretty watered. I have so much stuff to do inside the house. All right, let's just start. Let's just start the to-do list. Let's find some money. All right, cool. Bye. We're gonna be multitasking over here. I always feel weird. I feel weird staring at you. I feel maybe when you do something for a long period of time, you have this sort of vision intuition of how it looks how it'll look and then how you put it together maybe not a when you at least think <laughs> when you at least think about it for a long time like with film i feel that comes kind of more naturally to me but this i don't know i don't think about vlogging as a film where i'm putting scenes together and i'm premeditating premeditating them what is this this is a mess I'm never putting black nail polish on again. Nail polish remover, uniquely formulated with apricot kernel oil, vitamin E, and patented patented blend of linseed and perilla seed oil to help promote healthy nails. It is actually, I'm surprised how good this is. I would recommend this. Again, not an ad, not a sponsor, but I would actually recommend this. If you know the struggle of nail polish, especially nourishing nail polish, it is so... This one came out really nice. It is so difficult to find a nail polish that actually wipes things off <laughs> very quickly so you don't have like extensive exposure in your fingernails uh, for it and your skin and stuff like that because you're sitting there with it and just trying to scrub it for a long period of time. Like, look at that. I've been talking and already I'm, well, halfway through one hand. This is an unusual nail polish, though. Please pay me Cutex. What, Cutex? Yeah, Cutex Care. There you go. I'm, I'm representing your brand without you even asking me. Please send over some promotional opportunities. Also, the other thing that is cool about or why I would want to be sponsored is the creative part of that. Maybe I should do advertising. But I want to do advertising in this sense. I actually want to advertise products um, because it's that creative process of, you know, you have the theme, you have the message that you're trying to get through. You have to put together a plan visually, you know, how to get this through. I don't know. I, I find that really cool. I actually like that. I've never had the opportunity to. There was at one point I had a message in my Instagram inbox, this jewelry company, and I don't know if that was legit. I don't think I shared with you this dream. I had this dream today. That nail is so long. That is crazy long. Meanwhile, this one I can't even grow like Almost all the other nails I can't even grow because they start splitting and peeling. Nev I always have nightmares, but they're, I call them more stress dreams because it, they just feel stressful, but it's nothing like gore and horror. Usually I sometimes have like the lights won't come on in the room or, uh, you know, alien abduction type things, <laughs> but nothing that's like really real. And yeah, I think I had once or twice I had a like semi awake dream or that a dream that felt like I maybe had experienced it in real life, but I was kind of sleepwalking where I it was my room, it was back at my house, it was my room, and the t I had a TV at the time in my room and the TV came on or it wouldn't come on, the lights won't co wouldn't come on and there was a presence in my room and stuff like that. That was the only time I um, had something like that. But other than that, even that, I personally believe it wasn't an actual um, spirit, spiritual or alien activity. 
type of thing like in real life that I just kind of created a as a dream in retrospect I think it was a natural dream like a night terror but besides that I always have nightmares or stress dreams stressful dreams I wake up like just stressed out of it or I feel like I can't sleep I actually have been sleeping really well lately like I've been sleeping through the night and I wake up somewhat refreshed I don't wake up refreshed if I wake up at the wrong time of my sleep cycle but I wake up refreshed like I can't believe how well I slept Saturday night. <laughs> I slept so freaking well. Um, sorry, this long story longer. I dreamt that basically it was like a Chucky dream, like the doll. Um, but it was a very clean version and taller. And I think it was a girl. And she had like a, a dress or a salopeta. And I, I just remember the, um, her feet because she started, like, I was down somehow and she started kicking me in the face. Um, but I didn't feel it hurt because it's a dream. Um, and she had, like, knee, oh, like, not knee-high socks, but, like, you know, longer socks and, like, these white shoes, doll shoes. And, but anyways, yeah, it was, like, a bunch of, me and a bunch of people and we were kind of in a game level sort of where we had to defend ourselves against these things doll people or creatures i don't know and uh this was the first we came across and uh, me and this guy and the like i think it was three of us that went one way and i think it was two girls and one guy i don't know but um we started we saw like our first thing to defend ourselves but it wasn't moving so it's like perfect you know um and like we'll kill it before it kills us before it even attacks us and uh yeah it was definitely level one because she would the doll thing wasn't very active very reactive but reactive enough it, but it was very like beginner level <laughs> and uh yeah, like the guy tried to stab it with a spoon and I tried to stab it with a knife. And if you know me, I can't kill a fly, literally, or an ant. I have some trauma one time decapitating an ant by a complete mistake. I was trying to help it get out of my room, <laughs> but it was in the middle of the night. It like bit me and <laughs> in the middle of the night, I was like kind of freaking out. It was just me and blah, blah, blah. 1226 okay that's when my phone call is at okay um anyways and so i i remember in the dream feeling like you know stabbing but like i like your muscles kind of pull you back from actually stabbing because that's just how i am but then um also i had a butter knife so i think the guy next to me like took my knife or like no he like put his hand and to like help me have more force because i didn't have it because i didn't want to <laughs> stab anything or anyone and um it like sort of penetrated but it was a butter knife and also this person wasn't a person this was like a doll thing but uh it had blood or but it didn't have blood like gushing it, would, it just had like in cartoons or something when you know someone cuts off like a piece of someone's leg and they just are red inside <laughs> it's not like blood gushing and I don't even know how that looks for real I don't want to know how that looks for real and um yeah um and then I think someone gave us like real knives but not like knife knives but still like a steak knife or something and uh or I found it and it's like okay let's try that and then it went much cleaner and then it became more of a survival because the thing got up and it was like like I said like it attacked us and like stomped on me and so it was it became more like I need to get this thing off like it's going to kill me so it became a lot like easier to stab because it was like I was defending myself but if you know me I don't watch anything like that. I don't, I don't have anything to do with any of that. So I asked him like, what did you dream last night? <laughs> like, also, he was at work when I was dreaming this, but like, what, what did you dream? What were you thinking about? 
because he's watched a lot like he loves the last of us the game and the show i don't know if he loves the show but he was watching it and so he likes that kind of stuff sometimes he's definitely a lot more into that or open to that than i am and a lot more exposed to that is what i meant um so yeah or like the people in the apartments like around me maybe i don't know but the, completely out of nowhere don't even know what that can mean don't even know what that can mean i have zero idea what that means zero as i'm surrounded by red but no um i don't know so i but i wanted to show that let me go wash my hands and continue on with that um good talk good talk you are so close hello <laughs> all right so i was like I, I have a couple of things. One, I was laughing so hard at, I totally missed these, uh, is it memes, reels, whatever. I'll just call him my boyfriend. Today I feel like a my boyfriend day that my boyfriend sent me. <laughs> so weird, but anyways, Saturday. So let, let me show you. I'm just conflicted about <laughs> this person. Yeah, I'm, I just feel very com conflicted <laughs> about, about him, but it made me laugh. Anyways, the other one was about uh, lights inside your car when your car is going, being illegal or not. I don't know if it's illegal, but I know I've been actually stopped, so I was told that too. But then I kept doing it, and I got away with it for, I don't know, a year or so, vlogging. And then I ended up getting stopped not too long ago, well, like a a few months ago i was told by that cop that he didn't give me a ticket or anything but i, I was told by that cop that you can't really see when it's dark outside and you have lights on inside um your vision is impaired and he was right <laughs> but especially you know what ironically he was right more after than before before i was able to be fine and see fine and react fine i can pick out you know random creatures in the woods and all that stuff but afterwards he put that thought in my head and now it's like oh my gosh i can't see it is so crazy how that goes but um yeah anyways the phone call was actually successful it was uncomfortable because the person that didn't sound official if that makes sense the sound quality i was getting an echo he was on speaker i i don't remember him saying a name or an id like a government id so i was a little uh, he was asking a lot of information i was like uh, other agents haven't asked me this information everything got taken care of it's almost one o'clock and um let's get on to that let's file some claims let's get some opportunities let's get ourselves in order i feel a lot better a lot more productive it's 1 p.m i feel kind of crappy about that being that late but otherwise i'm like i'm pumped to go so here we go feel moderately productive i also had a oof realization life realization that i'll keep you posted on maybe later um i also discovered midpracticalmodern.com i knew of her <laughs> we had a very small class she wasn't like my direct friend necessarily she wasn't an, a stranger though either or an enemy but she has a blog and then she has this bingo card of things to do and yes and you also i applied to some jobs and uh that sounds cool also it, it goes into that pile how many of you and how many things do you have in that pile of things i could have should have come up with why the heck did i not come up with that and put that into the world and i think a lot of times that boils down to uh, oh because i have this uh, idea in my head that was implanted throughout my growth that i don't have ideas and any ideas that i have are not marketable they're not useful or no one's gonna pay me for that or be interested in that that, that at least that's what my voice says inside so yeah i um 
I'm going to look further into this and also maybe come up with my own monthly challenge. For example, working out. It is 3.15. I'm wanting to... Well, I need to go to the bathroom. I haven't left my couch. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to do a workout just to not get out of the habit, just to stick to the habit, just do the workout. I have been drinking water. We are on cup number and by cup I mean like section. I divided it in 250 milliliters, 250 milliliters sections and this adds up to a whole 500 milliliters and two of these equal a liter and I am supposed to drink about 1.3, uh, 2.3 liters per day for my activity level and the weather and uh, my age, weight, all that stuff. Don't drink too much water. It is unhealthy to drink too much water. You can thin your blood. Just saying, be careful. People don't talk about that. Too little, too much, like everything, moderation. People think that being someone being in your face is the only way you can be preoccupied with that person or they can take time from your time. But actually, and I love that she, she spent quite a lot of time on this, by someone being avoidant and not really showing up and not giving you enough time, um, like a decent amount of time, not like excessive amount of time, but a hu basic human, you know, healthy amount of time, um, then you become pre preoccupied with that person because it's like you just get pulled in. Have you ever noticed people soft-spoken, people who speak very quiet? And they just speak very quietly. And no matter what, no matter what they say, no matter what is happening, they just speak quietly. And it, it's like, a, it can also be a technique to pull you in physically and just like, you have to focus only on them and only on what they're saying and because you're trying so hard to figure out what the heck they're saying because they speak so softly. And it's generally unconscious, subconscious. I'm saying generally that's, not a don't quote me on that it's not a you know what do you call it a scientific experiment uh of mine but um i believe that people are generally good and so they're not doing that on purpose they're doing that out of um you know they found that people maybe don't listen to them they are not valued whatever so they're subconsciously trying to um be valid and trying to get love you know that's where i always go back to what someone is doing is in order is them trying to get to be loved trying to get love that they don't feel they get otherwise if they wouldn't do what they're doing someone calls or like wants to hang out or wants to like play video games wants to talk or whatever i will avoid eating or going to the bathroom because like oh they want to talk i've gotten better with that but um yeah and that's part of my attachment style because my bigger need is for connection fun for being with people that supersedes all the other needs including going to the bathroom and speaking of this is kind of also that goes exactly into that even though you're not technically people but you are but you're not you know, you're a camera right now. There's no one behind you or anything. They're not live. Um, but yet I still find myself doing that. So, did you get any of that? That was not a pun I intended, but then I realized midway through, oh, this is like plenty to what I was saying earlier. And I'm going to go with it. But yeah, I don't know if you got any of that. I think that was a lot. I'm blah, 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 blah. I will talk to you later. Cool. Bye. Whoever has Spectrum, why would you even want to have it? Why? Because it just keeps shutting off when you're not there. Oh, that was chicken tenders does not make for the best tasting soup. So in the meantime, I'm making this. I put a little bit of onion, a little bit of a red pepper, and a lot of zucchini, and some garlic powder, and a little bit of chicken stock. And I'm making it as a side to, <laughs> to these things. I thought, you know what, I should share what I'm eating because all of the time you see people make specific meals that you think, oh yeah, that goes together. It's not, and it's put together, it's not usually just ad hoc. 
and you might be interested. I might have an audience out there that's going to look specifically like, what can she come up with today? What weird combination does she just effortlessly come up with that doesn't always taste good, doesn't always make sense, doesn't always turn out good, but she's gonna try it. I'll talk to you later though, uh, but I wanted to share my food journey. <laughs> cool. All right, finished eating. I decided to eat my dinner. Uh, my 4 p.m. meal and work out after my coaching. I feel like that's going to be better because I'll have a lot of probably stress to, <laughs> to burn off. I'm drinking the rest of this water. And yeah, I just wanted to give you a, head, a heads up a check in. It's good food. Weird combination, but it worked. All right, cool. We'll talk to you later. With the fair, el matiz, el reflejo de mi depresión, el perfil, y el fantasma que hay en mi interior, nada de hablar, y no es puedo dormir. Y no deja no es soledad, sigo pensando en ti. Y me, no me atrevo a comenzar por olvidarte al fin. Porque me asusta descifrar que habrá detrás de ti. ¿Qué hay detrás? I, can, uh, I, I don't know if I don't have the range or I'm just not using, I'm not hearing what I'm supposed to be singing myself because they have a different voice, I don't know. But anyways, look at that, dark and light. I'm, my head is right in the middle. I am listening to RBD because they released a new song. And I was like, let me go down that memory lane. And I uh, told Nelson like, Basically, I wanted to say, you've tamed me a lot. You have no idea who I was before you. Because <laughs> he says that too. Anyway, so I am taking you on a, a food journey, sort of, today. I am making mamaliga. What is mamaliga, you might say? Well, let me show you a picture, sort of. Well, a few pictures. This is what mamaliga is. Basically, cornmeal with water, boiled. Yeah, that's it. So it's a very Romanian thing. Also, a very Romanian thing I never liked until I was in England by myself, and I was like, I gotta feel like that's a cheap meal and easy and feels like something easy going for my stomach. I don't know. So I, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I've started enjoying it since. My mom just bought me feta, so perfect time. Um, the uh, issue with this is something that I've always feared when cooking is oil splatters or boiling hot cornmeal boiling in water splatters. So we will see how that goes. Also, I am hoping that I wash that thing out of all the mold that was in the rice that was in it that I forgot on the stovetop for about, let's say, almost a week. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, the, the mold was moldy it like it got to me my throat hurts and all of that so i'm hoping that i yeah that it's washed out yeah it smells it smells fine so um as i was looking through these different websites for the ingredient the specific steps and ingredients because i forgot and i'm not a huge momoliga person i was thinking Interesting. There are these English speaking websites that I found one for I forget what for but I found one that had a Romanian maybe oh the Chorba de Burta or Chorba de Perishoare one of those and um, It was in English and they put the reason that I knew these are not authentic Romanian people is that they put Pesmet I am going all Roman English on you. <laughs> they put um, breadcrumbs in their perishoare, which is the like meatballs in the soup, the meatball soup. And I was like, you are not Rom uh, Romanian because I never heard until coming here and having like Italian recipes or whatever, I never heard of that. 
maybe no no you put rice but you don't put that and I didn't put that because that's not Romanian to me maybe it is in some other region but like my mom my grandmother is from a region my grandfather is from another and I'm from another and none of these people know about that uh, as far as I know so I of course didn't put breadcrumbs pesmet in my meatballs perishwara and it was perfect the soup wasn't perfect but they were perfect the soup didn't have the exact taste that I was going for so anyways you know why maybe my nails are keep peeling because I wash my hands so much I literally go to the bathroom wash my hands put a lotion on and then I have to eat so I have to wash my hands again or like I wash dishes which also you know is drying I, I don't know but I, I noticed that I wash my hands put lotion on and then I have to wash my hands again because I just put a lotion on it's usually I think because of I'm eating with my hands like chocolate or something so I'm also looking to see for eggless cookies because and I love this one particular website saying where is it um saying many reasons you don't have eggs egg allergy egg intolerance lifestyle choice or you simply ran out of leg eggs it happens more than you think yes please that's exactly me i ran out of eggs <laughs> i wanted an egg this weekend but nelson wanted an egg and i gave him an egg and i've had a lot of eggs so i was like fine i'll just have my toast I had grilled cheese i could have done that too but I need better bread than the sourdough. The sourdough was not made with sourdough. I believe it was made with vinegar. I do not do well with vinegar. My stomach does not handle vinegar well. It handles sauerkraut well. It handles soured stuff, fermented stuff, but not vinegar. Which vinegar is sort of also fermented, but different. It has, I think, more sugar in it. Anyway, so water is still not boiling, albeit I didn't turn it up that much. This is the polenta, but I didn't take, I didn't get polenta. Because also, this might be a mess, but I like non-coarse polenta mama liga type thing. And so I got the corn flour, which is really, really, really fine. I don't know if this will turn out. But, as I said, I wanted to include you in this um, because maybe you're curious about Romanian food. You missed my whole two weeks of different Romanian soups, like specific, like chorba de burta is very specific, which is tripe soup. If you haven't had tripe and you're like, oh no, try it. Try it without knowing and thinking what it is and your preconceptions about it. It's so good, it's so good. With lots of garlic. And yeah, but what, what, oh, I like that song. Inalcanzable, oh my gosh, I can't say that word. Rebel the Way or something like that. They came out and I was like excited and it was all dark and like sexual or violent. I was like, this is no. And they made one that was a sequel or whatever. It was, actually it's a sequel on I think Netflix, I think it was. And they made one that was in the spirit of the original Rebel de, and it was like Thank you. It was also updated with more raunchiness and raw stuff, but yeah, it was much better. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I think a lot of us appreciate that. It was awesome. The music was awesome. Um, it was really, really cool. Really cool. So, yeah. <laughs> Vivo en la desesperanza desde que tú ya no vuelves más. Sobrevivo por pura ansiedad con el nudo en la garganta. Yeah, I, I need to practice my Spanish, but they need to get better at this. All of the songs glitch like this. This is not, like, they're behind. The white is behind. <laughs> Salvame del olvido. Salvame de la soledad. Okay, I'm way off. My throat is like mampunches. Perdiendo la fe, perdiendo.
These are kokolosh. We're trying a smooth, smooth situation. So I'm not scratching, well, a little bit, I guess, but I'm not technically scratching the, I'm not using the pointy part. I'm just smooshing it. I'll be back. All right, so that is sort of cooking. I'm on and offing it. I am creating a recipe going completely off book I put three cake flowers in here three tablespoons of this thing and then these tablespoons and then I'm gonna put let's go for three and kuvurf three four of almond flour. Ta -da. And then, ah, uh, why are you not going in? What the heck? Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Sorry. And then, should I put this sugar or this sugar? Let's try this one, because I tried that and um, didn't like it. So let's try this one. Just a little bit. Like. One flattish tablespoon. Mix that up. You know what? Maybe I'll put a little bit more because I don't know what <laughs> this will be like. And then we'll close this up. Put it up here. And then I'll put this. I'm gonna put some more water. I don't know if this is gonna help, but here we go. I am making this completely up today. We'll see if we survive. And then back to this thing. So I almost feel like I should put more sugar, but no. Two tablespoons is good. So we'll put a little bit of this cocoa. It's okay, but like a little bit, basically a tablespoon with the wood. And avoid inhaling it. Really mix it up. Let's switch to a fork. All right, let's mix in a little bit of the vanilla tsuker, tsuke, tsuker, something like I don't know, bourbon, vanilla sugar. I'm gonna put like half a packet because we're probably gonna ruin it. <laughs> this is not probably working out. And then we put some vanilla extract. Like a cap. Maybe two caps. Just pour in the vanilla. And well then I probably should have done that later on, let's see. Add some chocolate chips. Not good chocolate chips, but we'll use this. What can you do? It's actually not that bad. I don't know. I feel like they didn't make the chocolate I'm looking for. Basically, all the way to the top with chocolate. Oh, this will be a mess. Let me switch it to a bowl. Mm, you're not focusing. Hello. 
Hello. So the momoliga didn't turn out because I rushed when I put it in the coco rush. We'll try again tomorrow or something. But I ended up eating. <laughs> I ended up eating um, corn chips, blue corn chips with the. cream cheese with cream cheese and feta mix that I had put together for the momoliga and it was really good and half of the sardine thing box that I had and then I have some tea somewhere that's cooling off so the brownie thing, I added a banana and a little bit of the, salt, of the cream cheese and I split it, one side I put chia seeds and they're molded so I need to throw those out. So half of it is gone, doesn't work. But the other half is a little too gooey but hopefully by tomorrow it's going to be more cakey and together so I'm gonna maybe do that in the future because it was also like just pleasantly sweet it had the banana taste so it might not always feel like a banana taste and I feel like it was better well I, I did put dairy so maybe I can try without the dairy maybe more bananas less that I don't know um but yeah, so now I am going to edit the vlogs. It is almost 10 p.m., but if I don't do this, I won't really focus tomorrow, and I really need to figure out tomorrow what to do with everything. So I'm going to go do that, and I'm going to add some other things, but for now, I really wish um, I picked you up and talked about the coaching session. It's really cool, but for another time. There's so many concepts, so many things that I want to share that I'm learning just in general, but also on me. I don't know, it's really cool. So that's to come, I guess. I had also another idea. I don't remember. Another idea for what we can do or I can do for this vlog. I don't remember now. I don't know. I also did go out, go out, <laughs> go to the gym. I ended up just doing treadmill. I got off. I was telling Nelson, like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll talk to you later. He didn't come. Um, but yeah, Mondays, I think, I, I guess, are hard. I'm trying my best to not make any excuses, though. Um, but to each their own. Everyone has their journey and I know I cannot judge someone for how often they work out or not. <laughs> but, but I got off the treadmill. I stayed a little longer than I said I was going to because I feel like I already knew I wasn't going to do anything else. I was stinky today and I felt a little self-conscious. There weren't that many people there today. But I went, I looked at the machines, and I loved. <laughs> I should stretch, maybe after I digest a little bit. A lot of eyes. I mean, I'm just hearing that. I also made a mess. Also an eye, but made a huge mess in the kitchen. Water spilled a few times. A bunch of stuff that I, I have um, that piled up in the sink. Molded rice, molded chia seeds. It's a mess. It's a mess. I'm very stressed out about the whole payment situation and having food. That's why I was like, I was trying my best to figure out ways to make brownies without an egg and milk and most anything.
some wind happening over there. Yeah. Anyways, so we'll see. Um, actually, now that I think about it, maybe I wasn't thinking of something to do for here particularly. I was just sort of thinking about my old me self because I was listening to Erebede and brought up some feelings of empowerment I think you would say it now but in my mind it's like strength and I miss that feeling I was a very no BS person Amame, dehame, do whatever you like. <laughs> but don't bother me if you bother me. I have become, <laughs> I have become soft. I have sort of tamed myself for the relationship. I don't mind that. I think to an extent we all do and should. Because to an extent taming is not changing us or taming us. It's really healing us, healing ourselves and the relationship healing us, letting it heal us to be loved and love, which is what not being tamed is all about. Like, oh, you're not going to tame me, meaning you're not going to like use me or control me, which is not being loved and it is not loving. Maybe this is a topic for tomorrow because I'm really tired. <sighs> And I, yeah, I, I can barely find my words. I'm gonna go do this stuff. I'm getting very frustrated with my own brain and mouth not really functioning right now. So, cool, cool. I will talk to you later. And have a wonderful time until we talk next, which is probably, I'm probably going to pick you up before I go to bed and tell you I'm going to bed. <laughs> so, you will find out in a second. And in the meantime... Hope you enjoyed that little silence intermission break. Cool. See you in a second. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. Throw it back till I was coming. Gonna swing from the chandelier. From the chandelier. Gonna Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. I'm gonna fly like a butterfly tonight. In tears as you cry. I'm gonna swim from the chandelier. The chandelier. So many colors. I have a lot of heartburn. You're welcome. It's not TMI. Well, it is, but it's not bad in TMI. Huh? I feel like the people above have a different layout because I think they were taking a shower where the kitchen is for me. I don't really know. I'm very confused about their layout. Um, I tried editing 
but because I'm also uploading and this is a very bad computer, I can't do both at the same time. And for some odd reason, it says that it's going to take about an hour and 49 minutes to upload this video. I think it was a longer video, but still. Still. So, yeah. I could go to bed, but I have a really, really bad heartburn situation. I really would have liked to edit all the videos. So I have the 24th, 25th, 26th, which I don't think I had too much yesterday, 26th. Um, and then today, the 27th. It shouldn't be too, too bad, actually. Oh, no, I do have some stuff yesterday. I think the weekend will be the hardest one to edit. Um, because I will have, well, actually, I want to edit this one as well. I want to take a lot of the ums and pauses and things out, especially for the hour-long, two-hour-long videos. Definitely going to split the two-hour-long videos. I'm trying to get it under two hours, but it's not going to go too much under two hours. So I might just do it to be continued. Um, speaking of ums, yeah, it just feels odd. Today would have been a great xbox day <sighs> it just feels so odd i feel like i'm almost in solitary <laughs> um so yeah like i was watching suits i shared some reels he shared a, a photo of him of his character in one of the games he plays far cry one of the far cries and actually him sharing that photo made me miss it less uh, feel like i'm missing out less so i appreciate that i should tell him that i'm very preoccupied right now though with getting back to me and how do i make that fit with where my life is now it's so complicated I don't know, I've become so fearful, so cautious and protective and not the like jump off the cliff and the wind will carry me person. I don't know, I feel like humans, we're so much more complicated than we even like to admit. Because when I say that, but I'm also a planner. I like planning. I discovered the why. So here's a little uh, inside information, <laughs> inside little tidbit for my coaching session. So I discovered that because I, I was like, I, I don't like planning. I don't really like being bound to plans, um, but I don't like being spontaneous. If you drop something like, hey, want to go here? Let's do this. I freak out. Oh my gosh, it was something last weekend. Oh, the weekend before that where he dropped the oh let me take you shopping bomb and i was like arena this is a good thing why are you freaking out i literally froze <laughs> i literally froze i was like i'm having a panic attack and both options are great but i'm having a panic attack i just like i froze like a deer in the headlines i'm not even exaggerating that like my eyes I, were probably this wide and i was just I couldn't even speak i couldn't even breathe i was in complete panic mode because it was either we're going to the vr game we're doing shopping and then i suggested like how would we do both but i was afraid to suggest that because long story attachment style stuff long story but um like my attachment style but um yeah so um so i was like completely in panic mode and then I realized today when I was talking to my coach, because she mentioned, so you like planning ahead. I'm like, I don't. But I have, one, I have a lot of security needs that get met when there's a plan that's like happening. And two, I need to live that anticipation. I think for some people it might be uh, nerve wracking. It depends, I guess, on what it is. But um for me as she said it's part of the experience 
I won't be able to fully experience the experience if you just drop it on me. I don't have time to experience the part of anticipating the experience and that's part of the experience. Did I say experience too many times? <laughs> Was it enough? Um, let me see how, what we said, what we ended on in the end. Anticipation, excitement, the build up to the experience is also the experience. So if you don't give me that part of like looking forward to something, it takes away from the experience. It takes away from the excitement. I don't actually get to get excited about it. I just get in panic mode. I just get into, do I actually like this? Do I not like this? Do I want to do this? Do I not want to do this? I don't know. Yeah. So I, I need to be eased into it, but I also don't like planning too much. I just, I like the feeling of like, oh my gosh, I can't wait and I'll wear this or I'll do this and I don't know, like I have something to look forward. All of that is a nice little package. So there you go, a little insight that I found out about myself. A really bad heartburn really bad heartburn and this will take forever it's an hour and 46 minutes now so i'm going to kind of probably mosey on over i that i learned such a crazy vocabulary <laughs> with him mosey on over um i don't i'm just borrowing it i have no idea really what that means but he i think he's used it or for some reason i got it from him somehow but yeah, i'm gonna mosey on over I think it means like just like slowly go to bed towards bed and um not much else to say i really wish i could edit the other vlogs and release them and move forward because i feel until i release them or at least upload them and they're ready to go to be published i can't move forward with you but we'll see also started singing i might sing some more yeah i don't know always sing good i don't always sing bad it, it, it will vary what you get <laughs> so all right i will probably see you in bed or towards there